former Prime Minister Imran Khan's appeal against his conviction in the cipher case was adjourned by the Islamabad High Court today. While Mr Khan's lawyers argued in previous hearing about the frivolous case as well as the way the trial was conducted, state prosecution has said the conviction in this case can't be appealed as it was a conviction under the Official Secret Act. Imran Khan remains illegally incarcerated and in solitary confinement for the 219th day. The Punjab police under Maryam Nawaz Sharif has placed terrorism cases against PTI workers for protesting against rigging in the province on Sunday. PTI's acting Punjab president Hamad Azhar tweeted that dozens of the party workers were booked under terrorism charges. Law enforcement agencies have weaponized terrorism laws against Imran Khan and his party workers, rounding up thousands arbitrarily over the last two years to exhaust them in the courts. Civilian political prisoners held by Pakistan's military were tortured into making confessions. According to the lawyer representing civilians who are being held by the military, Murad Ali Khan Marwat. In an interview, Mr. Marwat detailed how military intelligence officials waterboarded, blindfolded, beat and sleep deprived civilian detainees to extract false confessions. 102 civilians are being tried in Pakistan's military courts, including Imran Khan's nephew, Hassan Niazi, a former member of the Punjab Assembly, Mia Akram Usman, as well as juveniles. The trial in military courts of civilians is a violation of Article 10A of the Constitution of Pakistan. Inflation is surging in Pakistan just as Ramadan begins. According to various local media reports, Pakistanis will be experiencing one of the most expensive Ramadans on record as food prices have skyrocketed. Rates per kilo on certain foods have risen from 20 to 100 percent. Inflation in the country has continued as political instability remains since Imran Khan's government was arrested in a soft coup two years ago. Now, after rigging in the elections, protests have continued, which will further increase economic instability, according to analysts. The Indian government has notified the rules for the Citizenship Amendment Act, CAA, also referred to as Anti-Muslim 2019 Citizenship Law, weeks before Prime Minister Narendra Modi seeks a rare third term for his Hindu nationalist government. The controversial law passed in 2019 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government allowed Indian citizenship to non-Muslim refugees from India's neighbouring countries. It declared the Hindus, Parsis, Sikhs, Buddhists, Jains and Christians who fled to Hindu-majority India from mainly Muslim Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan before December 31, 2014 were eligible for the citizenship. The law was declared anti-Muslim by several rights groups for keeping the community out of its ambit, raising questions over the secular character of the world's largest democracy.